Hello guys, welcome back to the channel. If you're interested in vocal technique, pick up my ebook called Becoming a Natural Singer, or if you want one-on-one -on -one help, book a lesson through my website or drop me an email, links in the description. So I'm on the road here and there, and I'm teaching at a couple of places over the summer. So most of my videos, I think, will be here in my car. It's just convenient because it's quiet, and in the house there is children. So here we go. So I wanted to just get back to basics with this idea of what singing is because we've got to start with the right presuppositions, the right assumptions, the right attitude towards what we're doing. Far too often there is this sense of I'm using my voice day to day, I'm hardly thinking about it and then I go to sing. <gasps> Away in. See what I mean? It's a totally different mindset. It's careful, it's safe, it's I must sound pretty, I must sound a certain way. Great singing is this. It's efficient use of the muscles and it is combining that with style. And when I talk about efficient use of the muscles, what I'm really talking about is learning to make sound easily. That's it. We're learning to make sound easily. So rather than think of, right, I'm going to do a scale, Ma, 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 listen how good I'm singing. All of that, just hit it plain. We want to create sound in the most simple, clean way possible initially, just for basic technique, foundational technique. So if I'm talking to you here and I'm not thinking about it and it's just hitting, it's hitting the mask. Mm, plain as day. Ma, 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 ma. Ma, 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 ma. That is a start point for my technique. Yes, the vowel is ah, uh, ah. Uh. It's a little bit rounded type of vowel. It's a little bit darker than where I would speak. But other than that, it's clutter free. It's certainly not the same as ma, ma. I, uh, I need to sound a certain way. I need to sound pretty and I need to sing. All of that stuff needs to be put to one side. And we just need to make the sound. And stop thinking about the end result, i.e. I've got to sound good all the time. When we're learning foundational technique, we're just making sounds. No pressure, nothing. Just make the sounds, see what happens, and make small adjustments to fix things. Outside of that, we worry later about the style, how to shape things, how to sound good. The nay 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 is a good example of this, or the squeaky door, for example. When I'm going, eh, 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 it doesn't sound pretty, but it's very functional. It's a little bit too pharyngeal, a little bit too nasal for, for where we're going to sing, but the vocal cords are connecting and the vocal cords are stretching. The same with the nay, nay, nay. Nay, 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 nay. You know, it's a little bit whiny feeling, a little bit high in the larynx, but the vocal cords are connecting, the vocal cords are stretching. It's a healthy, efficient sound. From there, ma, ma. We go to a darker quality to get to a more singing type quality. But the point is this, is don't get too bogged down with how you sound initially. Just worry about A, how it feels, and B, just making sounds. I.e. not making sounds with the assumption that they need to sound a certain way or sound good or sound bad. We, we basically don't want to make too much judgment about the sound. Think about it how kids do it. They're not thinking, they're not judging everything they do. This is the issue with the grown-ups, is everything they do, every sound they make, every move they make in life, it's endless self-talk and endless self-judgment and endless judgment from other people. Whereas when a kid is learning to walk, there's none of that. It's just empty-headed experimentation, make the motions, see what happens, fix mistakes. And when we talk about mistakes, you know, if we fall over, fine. We pick ourselves up, we try and angle it a certain way, a different way, see if we can fix it. But when we fall, we aren't making real negative judgments about ourselves, which generate fear of falling. See, children learn to walk so well because when they fall, there's no, there's no judgment of that process. They don't fall and think, oh, God, I fell. Oh, they don't get angry about it. They don't get frustrated. And then when they're trying to walk again, they're like, oh my God, I mustn't fall. They don't, they don't link falling to a negative emotion. So they just accept the fall and work with it, learn with it and embrace it. And then gradually they get the perfect walk.
If you learn to walk with fear, or if you learn to sing with fear as your foundation in any way, fear of mistakes, fear of doing the wrong thing, fear of sounding bad, you're setting yourself to, up to sound average, quite frankly. You may get somewhere, but frankly, there's a lot of good singers out there who are too concerned about sounding good rather than singing good. Anyway, guys, those are my thoughts for today. I'll catch you very soon. Let me know in the comments what you think about this topic and give it a thumbs up this video. Take care. Bye bye.